Adjustment and Parts Replacement segment. In this section you'll learn how to make common adjustments on your taping head and how to replace parts. You'll see how to adjust the following. The friction brake, the one-way tension roller, the applying mechanism spring, and last the tape application leg length. You'll also see how to replace the blade and the applying roller. Before we begin, ensure that you know and follow the safety precautions. Don't work on the taping heads when the drive system is running. Be sure the pneumatic and the electrical supplies are off before servicing the taping heads. Identify the lo knife location on the taping head and keep your hands out of this area except when necessary. If you're going to actuate the applying mechanism by hand, use the buffing roller, not the applying roller. In case your hand slips, the blade guard would better protect you from the blade. You should have the following tools available. An 8mm and 10mm wrench, a 4mm and 5mm Allen wrench, a tension nut wrench, a cord or small strap, and a small weight scale. The first procedure we'll demonstrate is the tape drum friction brake adjustment. The friction brake is factory set to prevent tape roll over travel. Excessive braking force causes poor tape application and tape tabbing on the trailing edge. Insufficient force causes tape cutoff problem. Let's see what over travel looks like. With a full roll of tape, the pull off point on over travel should be less than 60 degrees from a line through the center of the tape drum shaft and the tension wrap. If adjustment is necessary, turn the nut clockwise to increase the braking force or counterclockwise to decrease the force. Adjust to the minimum braking force that prevents over travel or that prevents the tape from adhering to other machine components. Next we'll demonstrate the one-way tension roller adjustment. For the AccuGlide 2 Plus, the one-way tension roller is factory set for the most frequently used 3M tape. This is a nominal setting of 1 to 2 pounds of rotational or tangential force when it turns. You may have to adjust this setting for your particular tape. For example, if you're using 3 inch wide tape, you may have to increase the tension. The tension roller should be adjusted to a balance that ensures proper tape cutoff without causing tape stretching or tabbing or flagging on the trailing leg or end. First check to see if you have a force of 1 to 2 pounds. To do this you'll need a cord and spring scale or you can use an electronic scale such as this one available at stores that carry sporting goods. Wrap a cord or non-adhesive strip four to six turns around the tension roller. You can double the strip of tape over on itself so no adhesive is exposed if you don't have a cord available. Then attach the spring scale to the end of the cord or strap. If you don't have a force between one and two pounds, turn the adjusting nut until a force of one to two pounds is reached. If you discover you're having cutoff problems as you run your production, you may have to slightly increase tension. If you're getting flags or tabs on the trailing end of the case, you may have to decrease tension. Check the troubleshooting segment before you make any adjustments. Now we can go on to the next adjustment, the applying mechanism spring. The applying mechanism spring controls the applying and buffing roller tape wipe down pressure on the case and returns the mechanism to the rest position. The applying mechanism spring is factory set for standard operation. However, you may need to adjust it to prevent crushing lightweight boxes where you would decrease the pressure or if more buffing pressure is needed, increase it. The spring is factory set at the second hole on the J-hook. To decrease the spring tension, place the spring end loop in a hole farther from the hook end of the spring holder. To increase the spring tension, move the spring loop closer to the hook end of the spring hole. You should be aware that the upper and lower springs are different. The upper springs have lower tension because gravity aids the mechanism. The lower springs have higher tension because the mechanism works against gravity. To differentiate between the two, the upper springs are silver in color and the lower springs are black or have a colored stripe. Next we'll demonstrate the tape application leg length adjustment. In the setup section, we move components on the frame to change the leading and trailing leg lengths. This fine adjustment is done to position the leading edge properly on the applying roller by moving the one-way tension roller in its slot. Moving the one-way tension roller further away from the case surface will decrease the leading tape leg length, while moving it closer to this case surface increases the leading leg length. The end of the tape should be just beyond the horizontal center line of the applying roller. 
Now we'll demonstrate some parts replacement procedures that are not obvious. In most cases you can refer to the instructions manual parts list to see how parts are related for disassembly and reassembly. We'll demonstrate how to replace the taping head blade on a bottom mounted AccuGlide 2 Plus taping head. Upper and lower replacement is identical. Be careful when working in the blade area as the blade is very sharp. Carefully cover the tips of the blades with tape. With the blade guard in place, loosen the screws holding the blade. Pivot and secure the guard and remove the blade. Install the new blade, bottoming it out on the mounting slots. The blade screws are positioned at a slight angle to set the blade for optimum cutting. Position the new blade with the beveled side toward the oiler pad. Reposition the blade guard and tighten the screws. Our next replacement procedure is for replacing the applying roller sleeve. You have to take the applying roller off. Remove the two screws holding the roller shaft. If the shaft rotates when removing the second screw, insert a 5 mm Allen wrench in the hex formed in a threaded hole in the shaft. Be careful when removing the roller, as the internal spring may come out. Remove the bushings from the applying roller and install in the new roller sleeve. Replace the roller the same way you removed it. Make sure the nylon washer is over the shaft and not pinched between the shaft and the applying arm frame. We've shown you how to make some adjustments on your taping head and how to replace some parts. This concludes the segment on adjustment and parts replacement.